Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. We have not, or I guess I have not done a journaling vlog video in quite a while. I used to film these all the time. I basically film my daily journaling process while also vlogging kind of the coordinating things that happen and stitch it all together. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. I filmed this Saturday of last week. So this was the day before Mother's Day. And the thing is, I actually typically start my journaling pages the night before. So these clips are actually from Friday evening. I like to do a few things to set up the page for the next day, kind of as, I don't know, a way to set myself up for success, I guess. Um, so I just did the bare minimum of like writing down the headers and my routines and all of that. And I always vlog myself on Saturdays because Saturdays are the only days where nobody else goes into the office and I don't like filming with other people there, so yeah. Every evening I put out this cup of coffee, so in the morning I just need to add some hot water. And then I go on a 10 minute walk and by the time I come back, the temperature is going to be perfect. So again, I follow the same routine every morning, make my coffee, go on my walk, and then drink my coffee. And then typically I will write my first journal entry of the day. Um, other times I will go to the gym first and then write my journal entry. Just depends on how, I guess, frazzled I am. I also write down my detailed to-do list for the day and if there's anything that I want to prioritize. Lately, I have been using these tiny icons to kind of highlight any big priorities. And typically, I don't have many life things going on, but again, this was a day before Mother's Day, so I wanted to buy some flowers. All right, my journaling spread is done for this morning, so we are gonna get a head start on emails. Okay, so it is currently about 6.15 and I am going to do a run through of emails as well as um, like social media stuff. We did new releases yesterday on Friday, so uh, there are a lot of emails about just did a quick tally. It's about 80 emails to get through. So yeah, I'm just gonna work for a bit and then we will head to the gym. Uh, today's gonna be a cardio day, so it's not gonna be anything too crazy. It is currently 7.15 and I just got through a bunch of emails. Now I'm gonna record part of my voiceover for the video uploading tomorrow. Typically, I would like to get the video done a bit earlier, but um, again, yesterday I was busy with the new release. So this is the mic that I use. I don't know if this helps with my audio at all, but it makes me feel like one of those professional podcasters. So this is my very um, sophisticated and aesthetically pleasing workstation. I always wear shoes on the walking pad and I have my lap desk. And because I am rather tall, I have these like random boxes and stuff so that it is the perfect height. So I usually turn on the walking pad and I will respond to emails or I will respond to stuff while on my phone.
and after the gym i am just filling out a little bit more of my spread the gym is kind of my non-negotiable when it comes to time for myself and typically when i come back from the gym i just like quickly update my planner because after i wrap up this like me time session it is just going to be work for the next several hours and i likely won't have the chance to update my planner hello again so i will be heading to the office to package some orders and process subscriptions i think i will leave in about 45 minutes because i want to get through a few more emails that came in and talk with you guys on facebook and i don't know just like little things that i want to get done before i head out also this is my take a note journal so far yesterday i doodled these cute little emojis Okay, I am back at the office now. I realize that we don't have a vase that is big enough for this bouquet. So I'm hoping that this doesn't topple over. These are all of the stickers that we have been preparing. Here is the classic animal onesie washi tape with the matte purple foil. Super pretty. This is just regular classic emojis. Oh my gosh, also, I designed these vinyls because I thought we were going to do new releases on May 4th and I was like, this is perfect, I can release this on May 4th but we ended up doing the new release on May, May 10th so I don't know what to do with these anymore um, I don't know, if you guys are interested still, definitely let me know These are the subscriptions I love this octopus It is so cute So the next several minutes are going to be just me packing orders at the office. I think I filmed myself packing three or four orders. I don't really like to film myself packing orders too often just because it slows me down a lot. Um, I, I just need to be very careful about not accidentally showing an address or something like that. So I just did a few to kind of demo. But yeah, I was just working here for a few hours of my late morning and early afternoon. I also get a little bit self-conscious both about my personal home as well as the office because on social media, like a lot of these apartments and office spaces are super clean and organized and, you know, aesthetic looking, but that is definitely not the case with me. As you probably saw from my kitchen area earlier as well as the walking pad area, it's just like not decorated. And again, at the office, we do have, you know, nice shelves and stuff, but not everything is like super pristine and straight, if you know what I mean. That is kind of the reality. Like if you're grabbing something off the inventory shelf, it's very tedious if you were to straighten everything up after every grab so yeah i guess the point of all of this is that i don't lead a very aesthetic lifestyle um but i hope you don't mind seeing it anyways All right, you guys, it is currently 2.55. I worked on orders for a bit, subscriptions for a bit, and a few specialty cases. I have a lot of other work to do at home, so I think I'm gonna wrap up my time at the office. 
gotta put my headphones on. Gonna get settled and then I will make some lunch. My favorite yogurt brand is Siggy's. Also, my friend Lauren gave me this spoon and it says one small step every day. A little bit of cinnamon. Some chia seeds and some hemp hearts. This is my lunch. I have my leftover iced Americano, my yogurt bowl with blueberries, and then this is a Japanese sweet potato that my mom gave me and I just heated it up in the microwave. If you have never tried Japanese sweet, pota sweet potato, I would highly recommend it. These are so much sweeter than the typical orange sweet potatoes that you find at the grocery store. So after a little bit of warm-up and having fun, I actually had more fun and did some product design and brainstorming. Not all of my ideas come to fruition. Some of my ideas are a little bit too crazy. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, I gave up midway and drew this emoji that is just contemplating life. And then I decided to sketch out the bouquet of flowers that I got from my mom earlier. Also, as I showed earlier, I got her this um, rose perfume oil. And a funny story is that both, both my parents didn't read what the box said. They are honestly not big on gifts. Like, it is impossible to shop for them. But anyways, they didn't read what the present was and they thought it was tea. So they just put it away in a cupboard. We all laughed about it. Okay, I am tapping out. I've been working on this for a few hours and I still have a few more that I want to do, but I am starting to see stars and the meaning of life. I am done for the day. I also want to mention that sometimes I do like impulsively change my mind. Um, for example, here I have the band-aid that I was going to do, but last minute I decided to change it to a nurse emoji because I think that's a little bit more universal as of now. I can still do a band-aid in the future. Anyways, I'm gonna take a break now. On Thursday, I baked some double chocolate chip pistachio macadamia nut cookies. I froze one of the dough balls and I am gonna pop it in the air fryer. I have never 
made cookies in the air fryer, so this might be a disaster. We will see. I will try 300 Fahrenheit for seven minutes. We'll see. I have my tea brewing. This just finished, so let's see. Oh my god. What the heck is that? Okay, I'm gonna put on the screen what the cookies looked like on Thursday when I baked them officially in the regular oven. I'm sure the taste isn't compromised, but it's not exactly what I imagined it to be. Currently, I am working on subscriptions and for obvious reasons, I cannot show much. Um, it's a lot of addresses and stuff. Just giving you a little update. Okay, and I just ended off the night by working on some more design projects. Here is a little sneak peek. And I also wrapped up my journaling spread. So thank you for spending my packed, pretty packed Saturday with me. I hope you had fun and I will see you next week. Bye!